All right, what's going on, everyone? Bope here. For week four of the JJDL, we are taking on Oboe and his Morpeko United. Make sure to check him out in the description down below. And before we get into spoilers, make sure you're just checking out all the coaches as well. Uh, it's been a really fun ride here to start in the JJDL and just trying to keep it going, man. Uh, unfortunately, coming off two straight losses, so we're down to one and two. Oboe has been able to kind of turn around their season after making a ton of transactions, dropping the gouging fire core for a more balanced core. Uh, Tarapagos, Quackleval, uh, some of the mods that he added there. It's honestly a pretty good team. Uh, this is going to be like a really quick team builder here. Uh, we got Rocks reattacks Garchomp. Roselli Berry is for his Enamorous. Uh, just does really well into the matchup. I can eat a Specs Moonblast and do nearly a KO to Enam with the Iron Head. It's just a good matchup and takes on his uh, Reverb Room pretty well, which is a problem for my team if it comes in a shift gear. Uh, Serena is a pretty good uh, just overall pivot mon, especially for his two Earthquakers in Crocodile and Flygon. Uh, just normal coverage with U-Turn, Petal Blizzard, Rapid Spin. Triple Axle is if he doesn't Terra his Flygon for some reason. Also just does damage better to the Kilowatt Roll and to the Enam. Uh, just leftovers on that. Uh, Primarina is max Fizz Def with an Assault Vest. It chews up hits from most of the team that he could bring. Even Kilowatt Roll. Like, he does not, not have great well ways to break Brim. It's pretty much just a Reverb Room and maybe like a Terra Electric Flygon. So just keep in mind there. Zapdos, Choice Banded, once again, second straight week. Um, it just nukes, man. It's the best way that I have to bait, break his big two of Tarapagos and Necrozma. It just does really well into both of them. Uh, Dio Speed is an offensive set for the first time. Thank God. Uh, Psycho Boost, Super Power, Knock Off, and Extreme Speed just to pick off some of the potential Scarfers that he may have. I really think it will be Kilowatt Roll if it does come, but I wouldn't be surprised to see a Scarf Flygon, Scarf Crocodile, anything of that regard. I should be outspeeding that stuff naturally anyway, but... It's just there to help out. And then Salak Berry's Chandler uh, with Terra Fairy. Uh, Endure on there. It pretty much beats. Um, goodness. It beats. It beats stuff. It just does well. Uh, there was like a specific calc that I was trying to talk about, but I just brain farted on it. Okay. Nobo is like speeding past me, so I gotta catch up here get onto the right screen as well. And let's get searching as well. Start battle. Okay. But I don't know, Terra's, he has a Terra Steel Flygon. So that's interesting. You know his Flygon. Uh, we are just waiting to connect. And there we go. Uh, let's see the six that he is rocking with here. Uh, good luck, have fun to Oboe here. So he does have the Reverb Room, he does have the Kilowatt Roll. He doesn't, he does have Tarapagos, so what are we missing here? No Enam, so that means that Primarina, no Crocodile as well, and no Bronze on. And he has Terra Steel. On that. So his ways of removal is literally just the Tarapagos. So I could go Garchomp here to lead. Um, that's definitely a possibility. I think his potential leads could be the Kilowatt Roll. I do think a Rocks Necrozma could also be there. Just because Kilowatt Roll is a potential lead, I think I'm going to avoid, avoid leading Zapdos. I do think it's the Necrozma or the Kilowatt Roll. Um, just because Reverberm, hmm. he's led Reverberm before, I'm going to lead Garchomp. Just to 
avoid dealing with that. We're gonna lock in. Uh, good luck, have fun to Oboe once again. And we're gonna get into it. Guys, I am, I'm needing a dub here because with a win, I can get back to two and two. That would be huge. Means my playoff hopes are still alive. One and three, it's gonna be really tough because there's a ton of teams right in the middle around here. Martinez is Kilo. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so I I take about 60 from uh, like no, no like life orb um, Kilo. I do have Iron Head for like no reason on here now. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, I think he just goes for a U-turn here so I can get up my rocks. We'll do that. If he goes for a Hurricane here, I can... I would have to think of a pivot. It would probably just be into Primarina. He just does a hard swap. Okay. Into what? Casmiro. That is the Necrozma. Okay. So this kind of tells me that the Necrozma is probably more physically defensive. Um, Earthquake isn't doing that much to this thing. Um, whereas, like, no investment photon geyser is still doing, like, nearly half to me. Uh, he could go for his own rocks here. He could. I want to see if Serena can take uh, two Photon Geysers from Not Invested. Uh, it's kind of a roll. But I do want to save HP on this thing. I could go Heart Chandelier here. Let's go into Serena first. We'll go Serena and see what he wants to do. I told him Terra Water on this thing, but I don't have really any intentions of going for a Terra. Ooh, so that does 186. 186 to Serena. After Leftover, it's, it's kind of close here. So that could be a roll for max special attack. Yeah, it's a little bit of a roll here. Um, I don't really need, it's crazy, it's crazy that I'd be sacking this soon. But honestly, like, Serena isn't doing that much for me. It would mean that he can get up rocks pretty much for free. Um, if I go for a U-turn here, I can go into my Zapdos right after. I'll go for a U-turn. Just gonna throw off the Photon Geyser, see if I live. And I don't. So Serena is going to die to Necrozma immediately. Uh, not great. It's literally just him reading uh, what I brought and what I didn't bring. So I can go into Chandelure here. And threaten big damage. Let me refresh my calc here because it's honestly messing up on me, which is not ideal. Go Dio. I'm gonna go Dio. I can click knockoff on this thing. Alright, so no Serena, like literally off the bat. So it kind of opens up this quack 
and honestly just clicking Earthquake on my team. I don't have an Earthquake switch in aside from Zapdos right now. Let's sweep, see what his play is though. Honestly, getting a knockoff on this would be pretty big, just because it does a good amount of damage. It does literally half the Kissid Berry, which is for my Chandelier. He goes for Heat Wave here. That's honestly a really good chunk. Uh, I could go Chandelure, but I really don't think that is the play. I do think, however, the play is going into my Primarina. I think I can go into Primarina uh, and go for a flip turn. So that's what I'm going to do there. So he was Kissip Berry. We've seen Photon. Photon and Heat Wave. Um, he probably just clicks Photon now. Because I really don't have good ways of pressuring this thing right now. Which I honestly think him getting damage on this thing is huge. Oh, that is a lot of damage. 114, I want to say. To Primarina. Oh, this thing is like close to max and modest. <sighs> I have to go for a flip turn here and then I can go into Zapdos. Goes for Moonlight, so we've seen three, three of four. After flip turn damage, I should be in range to kill. Yeah, I should be in range to kill with uh, Zapdos. Is there anything better for me to go into? I could go Shandy now. Yeah, I do think going Chandler right now would be better. And I will do that. And I'll go for the flamethrower here. If he has earth power, I want to see if that kills. I think I actually do have to Terra. So I'll go for Terra and I'll go for a flamethrower here. calling the Tropagos to come in. This Necrozma is honestly a big problem. I don't have great ways to dealing with it. If he stays in, honestly, I'd rather see that. My only concern is I only, I don't have like max speed on this thing. I'm wondering like how much speed he has on Necrozma. And that could be a big issue. He's really thinking about this. Flamethrower should be a two-shot on this thing anyway. If, or talking about Necrozma here. Uh, this is the kilowatt roll. It's going to take a flamethrower into rocks. I think this thing is dead. I think it might be. I think it's dead. Yeah, it's just dead. Okay. So I'll get a kill with Shandy. KO's kill a watch roll. Um, that makes me less fearful about my Dio. Uh, I'll have at least two big hits off on that, so that's pretty big. Now we could go Reverfirm pretty easily here, now that I did Terra. And there's no 50-50 to call. Uh, cause I wanna see if Iron Head just straight up knocks me out from Reverfirm. 
Revolution. Yeah, Ironhead. Uh, yeah. Ironhead or Poison Jab would just be a straight one shot. It's naturally faster, so. I'm really surprised he's taken a while on this. Okay, this is different. Okay, he goes Flygon here. This is Terra Steel. Um. He can get a Dragon Dance off, which would be pretty tough. I want to see if Zapdos actually lives. I want to see Dragon Claw plus one. Plus one Dragon Claw isn't doing much to it. Uh, how much is doing it to Prim? It's actually doing a decent amount. Uh, make a hard play into Zapdos. Goes for rocks. Okay. Oh, that's more than okay. Okay, those are here to stay now, but... Uh, who is taking a banded close combat? Like, literally no one. How much is it doing to Flygon? It's a knockout, dude. I'm gonna go for it. It's gonna do a ton to the Necrozma if it comes back in. Like, after rocks, it should be a two-shot. This should die. Bang. Alright. Might reveal I'm banded, but that thing dropped. So Zapdos... KO's Flygon. Rocks. Terra Steel. Okay. I mean, he's gotta go Necrozma here. That's his only switch... Oh, maybe it isn't. No, this is Necrozma. Okay. Takes rocks once again. Pretty big. Once again, I do think I want to save HP on uh, Garchomp. So I think my best switch in here is the Chandelier. I will go back into that. Take rocks. This goes for a photon geyser. 229 to 43. I get my salak though, which is pretty cool. Uh, I went for a I went for a uh, shadow oh, flamethrower last time. I'm gonna go for a shadow ball this time. Uh, if he goes into the Tropagos, it's okay. So I'll be able to do at least a little bit of damage with a Terrorblast Fairy or a Flamethrower. So. If he keeps this in, that would be huge. Huge. Really big. I'll be honest, he's made some like really weird switches that... Sacking the kilowatt roll was kind of weird to me. Oh my god, please drop. Come on. Yes, Chandler! You're coming for the top 10, brother. Top 10. Shandy KOs Necrozma. So I had speed. Bar none's like anything but a scarf. Why is Tropagos not come in? I'm really confused by that. 
I really am. And I'll be honest, is this it? Finally. Okay, it finally comes in. Is it boots? It's boots. Why is it not coming before? That doesn't make sense to me. I'm really curious about that, because that doesn't make sense. Like, I think I just go for a flamethrower here and do damage so I can get a safe switch and into my plot or into my um, my Zapdos. So I'll just do that. Won't do anything, but like, actually it did more than I thought. Just for a rock polish here. Goes straight for the kill, he should. Terra Star Swarm should knock me out. Okay. So, Tropagos KOs. Tropagos KOs. Should be pretty much that's being anything on my team. Yeah, it doesn't look like Terra Star Storm is a two shot. Uh, if it doesn't, yeah. So I go Prim. I eat one. I go for a Surf. Or I go for Moonblast actually. And then I uh, should be able to pick up a KO afterward with um, with E speed from Dio. Uh, if that is Thunderbolt, yeah, that's not doing much to me either. I'll go for a Moonblast here. I have to put on like the Terra Shoals broken thing too, so. Ooh, still not out of it just because of how dangerous both, like literally all three of the mons that he has left are. Um, but, let's see. Just for Terra Star Storm. Okay. Just for Moon Blast. Good damage, good damage. There's actually a chance. That was a high roll. I'm actually gonna look. That shouldn't have been. And then extreme speed is pretty much close to a KO. Right. Go for moon blast. Does die. Drop of ghost. Chaos. Prim. All up to you, Dio. Yeah, all up to you. Dream speed is doing like right around 30. I'm just trying to think. This thing does have ice beam, right? If my computer loads. Oh goodness. OBS is fine. Cool. This thing does get ice beam. Yeah. And it would be knocking out Zapdos for me, right? Nowhere close to knocking out Zapdos from here. I'm just gonna go for a CC.
Yeah. It's not boosted. Yeah, that should be good. Unless I'm missing something here. Honestly, I probably could have just done that off rip instead of sacking for Marina. Bonehead. Bonehead, bonehead. But yeah, I should be good here. He's thinking about this a lot, so. Unless it's getting a move. It goes for a flamethrower. He's trying to burn me. Please don't. Thank God. Zapdos. Strike twice, Zapdos. KOs. Rapagos. I want to see if Adam and Quack knocks me out with a um, Aqua Jet. One. Uh, it shouldn't. Unless it's like banded. He's thinking about it a while, so I don't know if that's the case. Yeah, he's thinking about this a while. Garnacho. That's a quack. Takes rocks. Okay. I'm at 174. He would need, like, a max roll from band to knock me out. With jet. Yeah. So I am just going to CC. He doesn't have it. GG's, dude. It should be. Zapdos looks like it's going to clean up. You see River Room here? Air Balloon. Yeah, I should outspeed him. Knock this thing out. If not, I'll just pick up the KO with Garchomp right after. Yeah, Zapdos, four kills, baby. And we're back in the win column, a two and two record here for your Cleveland Guardians. Bouncing the back with a 3-0 win against Oboe. Um, I'll be honest, I think I could have made this better. I uh, went to Prim first instead of the Zapdos on Terrapagos. Maybe I'm just, I think I got a low fluster just because it was set up in the first place. But hey man, I just need a win really badly and Honestly, picking up against Oboe is uh, honestly really satisfying. I played him last uh, season of the JJ deal in Lanad. It was towards the end of my season, and I was just... I was on, like, a really bad streak. Honestly, maybe worse than I have been over the last few weeks. And I just played really badly. So I wanted to bring a good matchup here. I think I played solidly. I think my prep, honestly, was... Or just some of my prep was more so the big key here. Sacking Necrozma, though, was a big play in this matchup. Because I think if he kept Necrozma around, that was a huge threat to the rest of my team. But see what happens, man. I'll definitely be interested to hear uh, what was going on with him. But yeah, we're back to 2-2. Two and two. Make sure you're checking out Oboe and his side of the battle as well. He's a great content creator. I believe he's trying to get to 1,000 subs to get monetized. So he... <laughs> He does like a little piece in his video, so make sure to check him out. And uh, yeah, week five, I believe we're going up against D-Ray next. So we'll go from Oboe to D-Ray, no small feat. And honestly, any of these matchups is no small feat here. But yeah, I'm going to get up out of here. Uh, I will see you next week. And uh, yeah, peace.